Hello. Welcome back to the Bible reading. Today we're going to do Esther chapter 7. And um, I just like to do random accents. That's why I was doing that. Okay. And this is one of my favorites. So this is going to be chapter 7. This one's called Haman is Punished. Sorry if I'm a little goofy because I'm, you know, after work can be a little tired sometimes. Came home like an hour ago. Dude, after work is tiring no matter what time you get home. Doesn't matter if I got home an hour ago. The king and Haman were dining with Esther and drinking wine during the second dinner. When the king again said, Esther, what can I do for you? Just ask and I will give you as much as half of my kingdom. Uh, we, <laughs> Esther answered, your majesty, if you really care for me and are willing to help, you can save me and my people. That's what I really want. Because a reward has been promised to anyone who kills my people. Your majesty, if we were merely going to be sold as slaves, I would not have bothered you. Who would dare to do such a thing? The king asked. Esther replied, that evil Haman is the one out to get us. Haman was terrified as he looked at the king and the queen. The king was so angry that he got up, left his wine, <laughs> that's how angry he left his wine behind, and went out into the palace and garden. Haman realized that the king had already decided what to do with him, and he stayed and begged Esther to save his life. Just as the king came back into the room, Haman got down on his knees beside Esther, who was lying on the couch, the king shouted, now you're even trying to rape my queen here in my own palace? Which I don't think he was, but it's a misperception. As soon as the king said this, his servants covered Haman's head. Then Harbona, one of the king's personal servants, said, Your majesty, Haman built a tower 75 feet high beside his house so he could hang Mordecai on it. And Mordecai is the very one who spoke up and saved your life. King, or not king, hang Haman from his own tower, the king commanded. Right away, Haman was hanged on the tower he had built to hang Mordecai. And the king calmed down. Ugh. Even though I could say he like kind of deserves it, it's still kind of like, oh my gosh. like It's just so, just someone being hanged is, is so yucky but i get it like oh my gosh it's just a stuff they did back the stuff that, yeah that's just eesh, oof. but he kind of brought it on himself all right so the next one is called a happy ending for the jews that's chapter eight we have three more chapters of this book all right love you guys god loves you i love you